Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to get rid of those unwanted shadows whenever you take a picture straight on. Let's go ahead and take a look at this picture by Eric Lim Photography. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the Alt or Option key and hit my visibility layer and as you can see there's this really nasty shadow that appears when you take a picture with the flash directly on top of the camera and a lot of times whenever there's modeling or somebody that's far away from a wall you get this particular shadow now what we're gonna do in this version of Photoshop Elements tutorials we are going to get rid of that shadow with the replacement color Let me go ahead and show you a couple different ways I did that there's one right there where I've taken away the shadow there's another one and there's another one and we're gonna get right into this the first thing that we want to do is I'm going to go and I'm gonna revert my image so it'll take it back down to the original one with the shadow in it normally you don't see the layers palette over here but because of my recording style I wanna keep everything on the left hand side over here the first thing that we're gonna do you guessed it command J or control J on a PC that's going to duplicate our layer now a couple ways that we can do this we can go and jump right into enhance and go to adjust color and then hit replace color right there now you can see that there is a small picture right here of the girl and what we want to do is we want to take this eyedropper as you can see and we want to click on that shadowy area now sometimes you're gonna have a white wall back here with some dark areas and that might intrude into the model but let's go ahead and click on it and I'll show you what I'm talking about let's dial down the fuzziness here to where you can only see the shadow see all the black areas those areas are not going to be adjusted just these areas right in here so let's go ahead and dial down the fuzziness if you want to include a couple more colors other than just clicking on this with the eyedropper you can hit the plus eyedropper you can kinda of scroll around over all these different shades of the shadow right there and then we can dial down our fuzziness just a little bit then what we want to do is the resulting color we're gonna go ahead and click on this it's gonna give us our color picker right here but I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna go ahead and click on the picture on what color I want the shadow to be I'm gonna go ahead and click that and as you can see right away it made the shadow lighter I'm gonna select OK here get rid of that and then I'm gonna dial up the lightness just a little bit right there as you can see they're starting to get a little bit of modeling or some JPEG artifacts right there but that's okay I'm gonna select OK right there and then we can just take our smudge tool in our toolbox right there adjust our brush size right there and we can kinda of smudge these layers or this area right here to where you can't see that particular line any longer it's not the best but as you can see from the original I'll go ahead and hold down the alter option key and click on that and as you can see there was the original shadow and then there is the picture without the shadow it's a pretty remarkable difference I'm gonna go ahead and delete this okay the next technique that I want to cover right here now that we've taken this back to the original picture is uh, let's go ahead and do our command J or control J first make our duplicate layer there then we're gonna go over to the magic wand tool I'm gonna click on that area of the shadow right there and does a pretty good job of selecting the shadow and that's because in my option bar I put the tolerance to 13 over there and I have the contiguous check which just means select those pixels that are touching the other pixels now we're gonna go over to select and I'm going to feather my edge just a little bit maybe three maybe even five pixels there I'm gonna select OK and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the enhance adjust color we're gonna do the same technique again which we're gonna replace the color now this time automatically it shows us this area I'm gonna go ahead with my eyedropper and click in that area turn it white now what we can do is we can adjust the fuzziness right there it doesn't matter if you start seeing her face because the only part that I have selected is this area right in here so we can make that pretty bright white right there and then we're gonna click the result color remember this dialog box is gonna pop up or the color picker but I don't want that I wanna put my eyedropper tool on the picture and I'm gonna select this color right there and as you can see right off the bat it changed it most remarkably I'm gonna select OK we could go ahead and dial the lightness up just a tad bit 
and then select OK. And then I'm going to hit Command D to get rid of my marching ants. And as you can tell, it did a very good job this time of getting rid of the shadowy areas. Now, once again, there is a little bit of a weird looking banding color right here. You can go ahead and take your smudge tool in your toolbox, adjust the size of the brush, and then we're just going to scrub back and forth over that particular line right there. It's going to kind of make that go away. But, oops, let's do our friend Command Z because I got part of the doorway there. And as you can see, it does a fairly good job of getting rid of that shadow. I'm going to go ahead and hold the Option or Alt key again so that you can see uh, the area which used to have the shadow right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the visibility layer there. And as you can see, there's the shadow and there's without shadow. So this is what we've done. We've taken the color replacement tool and we replaced that shadowy area with pixels of another color on the wall. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, favorite my videos, and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers!